what it is to be single ongoing for a long time. Lonely, sitting in front of the television, no one to plan things with, no one to go for it with. It, it's horrible. Yeah, but what's worse mm -hmm. is if you marry some guy that is a loser, and I haven't met this guy, so I'm not saying he is, but I'm saying you're saying that you're settling. Would you have married this guy in your 20s? No. Would you have married him in your 30s? Uh, probably not. Okay, so... Well, what's a loser, Dr. Phil? What, is there really a person who is a loser? I, I mean, don't know. Let's talk about it. I don't, I, don't, I don't believe that. I think that everybody has redeemable qualities, black and white. There's no loser people. Well, hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me introduce April. She is a dating expert specialist, top of the game, uh, right here in L.A. What do you want to say? My question is, you want to have a child with this man? Yes. Would you go into business with him? Uh-huh. So this man who has issues, you want to bring a child into a marriage of this. So that's also teaching your child that it's okay. And let's also talk about the definition no, it's not of settling. Teaching, it's not teaching the child anything yet because we are doing, we're doing things to work on. Uh, we're doing therapy. We're doing this. We're doing all kinds of things to work on all of those issues mm -hmm. as we move toward having a child. I've never seen a woman marry a man and marry him for his potential for goodness. Well, okay. how old are you? Not on the other how side. You, how old are you? Sorry, I'm, Dr. Phil. Uh, yeah, you know what, on. Sharon, hold I'm 40 uh, and I'm just walking down the aisle yeah, in 30 40. days. I'm almost and 50. I did not settle. It's a little bit different. Okay, you're, no, now, hold and on. You don't, you don't, wait, wait, I just want to say to her, you don't know what kind of problems your husband has after you get married. Yes, I do, sweetie. I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, I don't want women to get the I'm impression sorry, sure, that sure. they should settle because you right. don't have to settle. No, th th that's what you're I want to talk about. You're 40. Okay. <laughs> but let me tell you, I don't care if you're 70. If you're marrying somebody with the idea that you're going to fix him. I didn't say that. You didn't me, hear me say that. Let me tell you, I didn't say you said it. Okay. I said if. Did you hear the if? I did hear that. Because you talk a lot and listen very little. You want to listen I'm to listening. what I'm saying. No. That's not fair, Dr. Phil. I listen to you, and I answer for what you said. No, you didn't. I said if. OK, you're right. I'm sorry. If. If you are making the decision that you're going to marry somebody that you recognize is less than what you would have accepted earlier with the idea of fixing him, would that be a bad plan? Um, that would be a bad plan if that was what you were doing. Okay. I never said that. So does this guy that you are getting ready to hook up with need fixing? We all need fixing, Dr. Phil. Is he an alcoholic? He is. Is he abusive? Do, do, they, do, they, um, do they deserve love? Is he abusive? I plead the fifth on that. Is he, does he have attachment disorder? He has attachment disorder. OK, do you know what attachment disorder is? I certainly is? do. I've read all about it. Tell me about it. An attachment disorder, he's adopted. And so an attachment disorder is where he did not bond properly to the primary caregiver. What I am concerned about mm -hmm. is that you are going to be in over your head from the get-go. Adult males mm -hmm. with attachment disorder oftentimes have a borderline personality. True. Or they have narcissism. That's true. Or they have dependent personalities. They have antisocial, uh, sociopathic adjustments. These are people that have a real difficult time forming a bond and a relationship with somebody in a sustainable way. That's true. And take it from a professional. This is not for amateurs. This isn't something that you can love him out of. It's not something where you can say, OK, you get three DUIs and you don't get to go out anymore. I mean, these are things that can get real ugly real fast. And it has gotten real ugly. But does he not deserve love because of it? Does he not deserve to be married or have a person who loves him because of that? He deserves to be loved. He deserves to be treated with dignity and respect. He deserves to have the kind of care and therapeutic intervention that would give him a chance to get traction in his life. He deserves to be forgiven for all of the horrible things that he's done in his life. But that doesn't mean that he deserves for you to marry him and have a baby because you are desperate. I'm not... <laughs> well... <laughs> well, it's not just because I'm desperate. I love him. I care for him. We are, we are moving forward together. It's not just because I'm desperate and I picked him. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.